Good day guys, Bing here. Today we're going to model um, this this um, mess. Okay, so let's start. First, let's create a project and architecture component modeling place mess and okay and okay. Okay, so first um, we're going to so uh, let's go to side plan. Okay, so side plan, and we're going to uh, create some uh, reference line. Okay, so let's do it. So reference. So we're going to use a spline through points. Okay, so uh, roughly I'll just draw some. So one, um, two, three, four, five. Okay, and also um, because we are going to um, create some uh, path. See these, so. What I'm going to do is I'll just copy that what some of them. So I'll just copy one. Uh, for example, this is what this will be a, a path. Okay, so parallel to uh, to that, not parallel, but uh, yeah. So just copy it from this, and also maybe copy another one from this one. Okay, so now let's uh, go to so this is side plan, a floor plan. Let's also um um. Actually, hang on, let, let's let's go to 3D view. Okay, so this is 3D view. I'll just close this side plan. I'll open a two actually two elevations. So I'll just open one south elevation and also east elevation as well. So now I'm going to use WT, and so I have all the views here. So this is this will be a east elevation. So this is south. Okay. So this is a 3D view. So now let's start. So first, uh, I'm going to do um, just a change the level of these. So for example, these, this, this one will be the highest, and this will be the lowest. So I'll select this one and go to any of these elevation. I'll just click this, and I'll use my keyboard. So Control. Oh, sorry. Shift the arrow key. So roughly go up this here. Okay, and then I'll just select. So this will be the path. So I'm going to select both of them and go back to this elevation. Shift arrow. So roughly there. So come back. This one go up a little bit. These two will be the another path. Okay, so go up. And I'll I'll leave that last one there. So now we can create some face. So first I'm going to create the path. So select these two and create form. And select these two, create form. So I'm going to give them a material. So I'll just uh, maybe use this material. Okay. So okay. So now if I change to shade, you will see these. Uh, so two faces, okay, and then let's continue. So um, so select one and tab, select this one and tab. So three reference line and create a face. So you will see this will be a curved face. So if if you select one two three uh, a uh, reference line, it will create a curved. Okay. And then if you select one and two, so it will be uh, flat. So you, you can tell it's it's still a little bit curved, but it's more you know straight from that the this reference line to this reference line. So uh, if you don't like this, you can let's Control Z. So we can just uh, copy another one. Let's just do it. So I'll do it in here. So CC, copy it this way, and move it up a little bit. So 
Now, if I select one, two, and tab three, and we, we will create a more uh, curved face, right? So, and also you can adjust them. So let, let me just give them a material as well. Okay. Yeah. So, and also I will just uh, copy another one, maybe. And move up a little bit. And one, two, and tab, select, and create another face. I'll give it a material as well. So now we have these shape and then we can try to adjust them. Okay, so um, usually I have this uh, uh, select element by face on because I like to pick the face, but in this case, it's easier to just turn it off so we can select the point. So, okay, easy. And then let's adjust the point, uh, these points. So for example, I want to raise these two points, raise the path, and then select these two points, go to elevation and use the keyboard so you can just raise this. Okay. And for example, I maybe I'll raise these two as well. You can use shift and arrow to make it go faster. Okay, so for example, these two maybe go down. And also, yeah, it looks like this point need to be moved as as well so maybe move it out a little bit maybe move this out to you know yeah you can just uh, move them so XYZ whatever you like so okay and then so for example I'll move these two up up a little bit so click this shift up All right and then maybe let's have a look um, Maybe this one, I want this one go inside a little bit. Yeah. And maybe this one go outside a little bit, up a little bit, um, down a little bit, inside a little bit. Okay. So down a little bit, up a little bit. <laughs> okay. So um, maybe this these two need to go, oops, so select them, click once. Maybe go that way, okay. Um, and maybe this point need to go out. We go down. Maybe go up. So yeah, you can just adjust them until you create some uh, very nice um, surface. Oops, sorry. Okay. And I think that's um, pretty much it. And then what we need to do now is, uh, so if you want to do uh, create something like this, we need to cut some void, OK? Um, if I'm doing this, I will just uh, model in, in place some void. So what I will do is I will just go place a point. So let, now um, let's pretend this map, uh, this face. Hang on, let me just adjust it a little bit more to make it more interesting. Maybe uh, this go there. Maybe this go there. Maybe this go a little bit further. Oh, not too much. This one go there. Mm, yeah, I think it's okay. But okay, so now I'm going to yeah. So that's it. So maybe um, let's create three void. Okay, so maybe uh, we have one void here and one void here and one void here. Okay, so let's do it. So I'll just close these two elevations. So. We are just going to do it in 3D view. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is place one point and uh, place draw on face. 
and so you you will be able to place this point on this uh, face okay so for example here roughly uh, in the middle here now you can select this point and turn the word plan uh, reference plans on so always so now you will see these are the reference plans so you can use the, this reference plan to draw the void so what i'm going to do is go reference and i'm going to draw a, uh, a spline okay so spline draw on word plan and set word plan and pick this word plan so this one see so this is the word plan um, parallel to the face at this point okay so pick this one here and now you can draw so you will see this is the word plan okay so it's uh, roughly uh, parallel to this face because this face is curved you won't be able to you know exactly parallel parallel so spline uh, let's do it so maybe uh, let's do it like this okay Oops. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit hard to use spline tool, and also, you know that we can't close it. We we won't be able to close the spline. You won't be able to click here and close it. So what you need to do is just you can draw that the the, the, large, the these two points very close to each other, and also roughly um match the the curve. You know, so. I'm going to just do move it up a little bit so roughly match and then select them create a spline and make a reference line so now select this shape and we can create a void okay and also this void so just pick the on the one on the left is the slot uh, the um, solid void okay <laughs> and then you will say ah oh, it's it's extrusion uh, it's extruded in this direction so we don't need that much maybe two thousand two meter and also type in two meter on the other direction so the cut will go the other way and then if I click here and uh, maybe escape oh, it's not automatically cut um, let's try use the cut tool so see if we can click on this face and click on this void so now if i escape you will see this cut the the face okay so that's it so i'll just uh do another one okay so place a point draw on face and pick roughly uh, the middle of this face roughly okay and create a, a reference line a, a spline draw on word plan set word plan you don't need to show you can just move pick a set word plan and then move on to this point just tap tap so that's it and then click and then you can draw okay so let's do it again roughly here and then oops where is my reference line ah same color wf wireframe select them spline reference line okay so now we can select this create form void the one on the left and so type in two meter on each side and finish it so now let's change it to shade SD. Yeah, we just need to cut face, face, and uh, hang on. Oh, it looks like it's already cut. It's automatically cut. So that's good. So now um, we can finish this mass. So if you finish mass, so you will see this is the mass we created. So you will see, um, and then we can. Um, what's the next step? Uh, maybe we can, let's just give it a, a little bit thickness. Okay, so um, 
let's make it um, we can use roof okay roof by face so let me try, try to maybe 400 is a little bit too thick I'll just create a new new one so maybe 200 okay uh, 200 and okay and okay and then let's uh, pick this uh, how how do I pick the face oh how it looks like I can't pick this face I can only pick this so if I pick this create roof yes you can create this this one but not this one mm. yeah I don't know <laughs> let's try can we do walls let's try wall okay so wall wall by face um, I'll use the 200 generic let's try yeah it looks like we can create a wall so let's pick this wall oops nope can't make face wall shape yeah um, looks like we can't place the wall maybe um, maybe let, let me try 100 wall and try a different one maybe try this one uh, looks like yes we can place a wall on this face maybe let me try this one yes we can this one not this one maybe the shape of this mass um, rabbit just uh, doesn't like it I don't know how to um, I think that's it uh, I'll leave it to you so see if you can um, figure out how to place uh, add some thickness to that but um, other than that I think it's quite okay the, so and also the floor will be just normal floor with uh, with with some curved edge um, okay so that's it um, if you have any questions please let me know I'll see you next time bye